Hi and welcome to this financial ratio spreadsheet. I was going to take you very quickly through uh, what all of these are, what they mean. The idea of this is not to give you an in-depth understanding of financial ratios. It is literally just to give you an overview of the more common ratios that lenders look at. So therefore you're more prepared when you go and talk to them and you've got a basic understanding of, of what they're looking at. So let me just take you through it very quickly. First of all, current ratio. This looks at the amount of current assets you've got and the current liabilities you've got. It's about how quickly could you liquidate what you've got to repay what you owe. The ratio will need to be above one. Uh, typically, lenders looking for two. Okay, uh, the quick ratio, very similar to the one above it, apart from it takes the stock or inventory out of a current assets figure. So rather than actually stripping everything out of the company, could you repay what you owe and continue to trade? That's the theory behind it, okay? Again, that one needs to be above one. Sales to receivables ratio. This looks at how many sales you've made and how much money you're owed as a result of them. So if that uh, figure there is one, then basically you've made a lot of sales, but you've collected no cash in. Um, the question really on this one is, if that figure is low or near one, why? In some businesses, it may well be, and it'd be for good reason. But if it is close to one, just consider why that may be. A lender will ask. Um, if you invoice in the 30-day terms, then actually that figure should be somewhere close to 12, okay? Um, this figure here is exactly the same as the one above it, apart from it's expressed in days. So um, if, we, if we look at this one here, um, net sales are 250,000, debtors there of 100,000, um, that equates to 146 days worth of trading. So it's expressed in the same ratio, but in the days. I like this one because it actually has got more impact and it shows you actually, you know, if I've got a 30 day terms, why people wait 146 days to pay me? So bear in mind what that figure tells you, have a look and compare it to your terms of trade. If there's a big difference, just have an explanation as to why. Um, return on assets, not commonly used with trading businesses actually. Um, this one's more commonly used with, with, with property companies whereby we've got a large asset and that asset is actually driving the income. So what return is that asset giving? Um, debt to worth ratio. What this is looking at is the amount of total liabilities everything the company owes against what the company is worth. Um, the figure here, well, if we look at the total liabilities, 200,000 in this example, net worth of 500,000. Therefore, the li uh, total liabilities are 0.4 or 40% of the company value. Um, that figure should always be below one. Uh, if it's above one, again, there may be a very good reason for it, but just have an answer and an explanation as to why. The final one we look at here, uh, working capital, it brings us back to the beginning actually. It's very similar to the current ratio. Um, and what it's done is actually expressing it in a, in a monetary format. So rather than suppressing it as a ratio, we've got a, a, a pounds and pence figure. But it is the same as the current ratio. So if you hear those terms, that's what it means. Um, if you are applying for money, I would have a look very much on the uh, days receivable to show how good you are at collecting the money in. It's an example and it tells the lender how much control you've got over your business. It's important. Um, and the quick ratio and the current ratio are also very important for a lender. Um, if those two are very low, just have a think why. Have you got your figures correct? And if they are correct, there may be a very good reason for it. Just make sure you communicate that good reason. Okay, that's a quick talk through. Uh, any queries, then please get in touch. Email to hello at sussybusinessfinance.com or call me on 01293 541 333. Thank you.